of the dress and, and the carpet was green too and they were like mismatch greens but they didn't clash. So Good morning. I'm drinking out of a mug that says Katie because this is Katie Brennan's mug. I don't know why I have it. I have one that says Tori but I don't know where it is. I think it's somewhere at the beach. So if you guys remember from last week, I was going to yoga and I had a coffee before yoga and I felt so sick during yoga. Well, here I am going to yoga and I made a cappuccino. I'm just so excited about my new machine and I really wanted a cappuccino. But the way I'm thinking about it is like this is much lighter on the stomach than like heavy cream. I don't know. But anyway, I'm on my way to yoga right now. Um, it's 9 a.m. It's so rainy today. But I have two errands to run, which is so funny because you guys know that like the running joke is that my mom and I don't leave the house when it's raining. But I actually do have errands to run and I'm getting lunch with um, my friend Kristen who was, I taught with her on Friday. She was on Friday's vlog. Oh, is that Vlogmas Day 2? No. Yeah, Vlogmas Day 2. Um, yes. No, 3. That was on Vlogmas Day 3. And we... Anyway, we're going to go get sushi today, which I'm so excited about. And then after that, I have a couple errands to run, and then that's it for the day. Um, it's a pretty simple day today. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. It's um, it's a pretty subtle day today, nothing too crazy, so expect a chill vlog. All right, just finished yoga. It was awesome. It was so funny because um, I got into yoga like right at 9.30, so they were started like their breath work and stuff so I just like took my spot whatever and then we get up into cat cow and I look over and my friend is right next to me I'm like no way I tap her I'm like and we just like laughed we're like no freaking way so I was just catching up with her afterwards it was great but yoga was really so great my entire head is like drenched right now I have to take a shower or just blow dry it because I have lunch it's 11 now because I was chatting but I have lunch in an hour and a half, so I guess I'll just eat at lunch. I also totally felt fine with the coffee. I think it was just the kind of coffee I had last week. It was so hot in there today, but it was awesome. Yoga always feels really great. Sorry, I don't record in there. It's just, it's yoga. Like, it's not the vibe to record in there, but okay. I'm going to get driving, and I'll see you guys at home. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. I am freezing, like so freaking cold. Um, so this is Mac Miller merch, R.E.P. Um, this jacket is from Shein. I don't know if I'm allowed to say that, but it's from Shein. Um, and my leggings are aloe. These are just some Uggs. And this is a purse that I'm bringing from Amazon. Hair's up in a claw clip. I'm going to get sushi and I can't freaking wait. I didn't end up eating anything because I wasn't too hungry once I got out of the shower. But now I'm hungry. And then I have to run errands. We all know I don't want to run errands when it is raining out. Not only is it raining out, but it's cold and raining. Bah. So got a double whammy, but it's okay. You guys, I have to actually run these errands. These are the same errands from last week that I didn't do because it was raining. So I have to do it. Um, I don't want to do it, but I have to do it. It's literally the only thing on my to-do list today are two errands and then two things back at home once my errands have been completed. Like the two things to do at home are dependent on the errands getting completed. I have to go to the UPS store and then I have to go to the bank. I can't do my other two things if I don't go to the UPS store and the bank. So I need to go to the UPS store and the bank. Oh my God, I made it. That's the UPS store behind me. And now all I have to do is get out of my car and go in, which is arguably going to be the hardest part of this task. Oh, I just don't want to go. I called and I was like, it's the person that needs to be there, there, because that's the whole reason that this has taken so long for this errand to get done, because there's just one person that needs to be there. And they're like, yeah, they're here from 12 to 6, but you should come at 6, because that's when we're least busy. And I was like, well, can I come now? And they're like, yeah, we just might be busy. 
And I was like, that's fine. But if they close at six, oh my God, they're right. 10 people just like walked in. Should I go home? No, I need to go in. Thank you for holding this with Mo Jones on a recorded line. How may I assist you today? Hi, I was wondering if um, I should come in to make an, or if I should make an appointment. Uh, we would have to set an appointment up for you. Um, what type of... Now I'm telling me not to come in today? Say less, like literally say less. So I got done the one errand. Good enough for me. Good enough for me. Now I just have a couple of things to do because I did one of the errands so I can do some of the stuff with, um, I can do half the stuff with some of the errands, which is fine for me. But I almost went to Starbucks to go get a chai tea latte and I was like, bitch, I bought them yesterday. I can make them at home. So I'm gonna make a chai tea latte at home. Lunch was so good. I got so much fried rice, veggie fried rice as a side. Oh my God, I could eat veggie fried rice every single day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So freaking good. I'm gonna put my camera away because every time I drive, it flies off and I literally almost like pulled out my shoulder this morning trying to save my camera. So I'll see you guys at home. I think I'm just gonna go right up to the office and get some work done, knock that out, and then be done for the day. It's on, it's a rainy day. I want to be done. I don't want to do anything other than like lay on the couch and take a nap. So I just want to get done work as soon as possible. And then tonight I think I'm going to make, um, chicken lettuce wraps for dinner so we can do that together. But I would just say lower your expectations for this vlog. I'm not gonna, I don't want to leave the house. It's raining. I literally just want to lay on my couch today. So lower your expectations. That's all I got to say. The only thing I want to do right now is lay on this couch. That's the only thing I want to do right now. But I must be strong. I must not right now. I have work to go do, and then I can come down guilt-free and lay on this couch for the rest. I was about to make a chai tea latte, but then I opened up the fridge and I saw these cookies that my mom made. So I'm gonna have one of these. Just one now and then the rest. When I come back, when I'm done working. To lay on the couch. <laughs> when there's work that I don't wanna do, just because of being lazy, I'll set a timer on my phone. Like, okay, in 30 minutes I'll stop. And it really makes me work more productive and a lot faster. And then I'll like be surprised when my work doesn't take me longer than 30 minutes. Or when my timer goes off, I just keep going. Cause I'm like, well, I'm already this far into it. Why stop, you know what I mean? 30 minutes. Here we go. Why I'm so dramatic. Three, 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 angel number. A minute 58 left on my timer and I'm done. I'm so glad I did that because otherwise I would have just been on the couch like, oh my God, I have to go do this, I have to go do this. And then I just wouldn't have gotten it done. And then I would have like really been stressing myself out. And then I couldn't have laid on the couch and just actually enjoyed being lazy on the couch. I had to scan stuff over to my accountant who's very lovely. So I had to scan stuff over to her, make some schedule adjustments with Strida crazy just little things that I just don't feel like doing on a rainy Tuesday I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow I just feel like my whole timeline tomorrow is like a little I don't know how tomorrow's gonna work also the weirdest thing was happening like my desk was like shaky like I felt like we were having like an earthquake maybe we did um Kate Middleton's dramatic haircut Chris Olsen leaves social media for a few months so I feel like I've seen so I created this account 
decide to do bigger movies and it probably won't go viral, but I don't This keeps happening to me. Every time I put my hair in a claw clip, I miss a big section of my hair. All right, I'm gonna make dinner. Um, I, I said earlier that I was gonna make, oh my God, it just freaking happened. I said earlier that I was gonna make chicken lettuce wraps and then I was on the phone with my boyfriend. I was like, what do you have for dinner tonight? And I gave him a bunch of options and one of them was chili, one was like Parmesan chicken, another was like chicken lettuce wraps and he was like, oh, I definitely don't want chicken lettuce wraps. I'm like, me either. <laughs> So I'm gonna make chili. <laughs> but before I do, I wanna make um, a drink to sip as I cook because chili is like a thing that like you make on the stove and then you walk away and then you come back, whatever. It takes a little bit of time because this is what I've been doing. It's like my go-to mocktail and it's really good. First, all good mocktails begin with the glass. I got this one at Target and what's good about it is it has little thumb holes. So it's good. Just fill it with ice. I like a lot of ice, but that's just personal preference. What I'm about to show you is not groundbreaking, but it's just my go-to lately. Then I take diet tonic water, which takes respectfully forever to pour because it just keeps fizzing. Tonic water has so much sugar in it, so I drink the diet, but I mean, it's gotta not be good for you. Yeah, it has aspartame, which is not the best. Okay, so tonic water and then lime juice you guys know i'm like a sucker for lime juice just a little bit of lime and a splash of cranberry this is just diet cranberry just a little bit and there you have it my favorite mocktail of the moment mm -mm -mm. Chili is so great because you can really use any vegetables that you have, any spices that you have. It's really just like a good like anything but the kitchen sink recipe. Like if you just have random things that you wanna get rid of. I'm trying to like think of any stories that I have to tell and kind of make this like, you know how girls on TikTok do like get ready with me's and they just have all these like stories to tell. I don't really have any stories or anything to update you guys on because we've been vlogging every single day. But this is cute of us, right? It's like a cook with me. Like that's super cute. But I could almost do like a get ready with me, but cook with me edition. But I don't have any. Also for time reference, it's literally 5.30. Like the way that it feels like it's 9 p.m. is crazy. Oh, I started a new book this morning. I started The Butcher by Jennifer Hillier. Um, I tried to start reading Once Upon a December, I think it was. I don't know, I couldn't really get past the sample. I thought it was like, it just wasn't gonna be my vibe. So I read the sample and then I was like, nah, I'm gonna start a different book. So that's when I started The Butcher. So I didn't get very far into it. So I wanna read that tonight. Plus I normally like to switch it up going from like a romance, then to a thriller and just like constantly switch it up because typically with the romances we always know how they end like they're always going to end up with one another so it's like a comforting and predictable ending and then when they don't end up together i just get mad and then i'm like well why do i want to read a book if i'm just going to be mad remember a while ago i was looking for ipad stands for recording spin videos in at stride for our online like platform and all these people were like, oh, I recommend the stand because I use it for my iPad when I cook. Like I put my iPad on the stand and it's perfect for recipes. And that was when I wasn't really like, cooking. So I was like, hmm, couldn't be me, can't really relate to this. But now I use my iPad all the time for recipes. So I just chopped up a bell pepper. And then I always get the pre-chopped onions from Wegmans because I am lazy and this is such a lifesaver. I'm gonna do about half of this. And then I'm just gonna let this, I'm gonna put it on pretty low heat. And just let these get soft. I'm gonna get all my things. So I have ground chicken, I have chili seasoning, 
you don't need this you can use like any seasoning you want like paprika cumin garlic um i did this one recipe one time that called for tomato soup and it was really good so i have some tomato soup that i'm going to throw in and i also have diced tomatoes and i'm going to grab paste if it gets too liquidy i'm just going to thicken it back up with paste and i have um dark red kidney beans I want white beans. I'm gonna do cannellini beans because I'm doing chicken. In my mind, it like makes sense. And then I always serve this with um, sour cream, cheese, and chips. Now I'm gonna add in garlic. So I feel like once a year, I will remember that Jersey Shore exists and then I go on like a huge binge with it. Um, I haven't rediscovered Jersey Shore yet, but I'm, I feel like it's coming up soon. I'm adding ground chicken because it's what I have, but you can use whatever you'd like. You can use turkey, beef, I prefer turkey or chicken. Okay, once the chicken is pretty much cooked all the way through, then put on chili cook like Ariana Grande because I, I always feel like this is gonna get hot and burn me so I always just like use my sleeve and it's very Ariana Grande to me so I'm gonna add in a can of this and then These are diced tomatoes. These are fire roasted. It's just what I had in the pantry. So I'm gonna add, mm, we'll do this whole can. So I'm gonna add those in. And then this, I'm just gonna bring to a boil. And if it's too like liquidy, I'm just gonna add in the tomato paste, but I'm just gonna bring this to a boil. And if I need to make it more liquidy, then I'm just gonna add in like chicken stock. But it's looking pretty good. And then once it simmers, then I'm gonna add in the beans. I just have cannellini beans and I think that's all that I want. So now it looks like this, it looks amazing. Um, I'm just gonna keep the lid off and just let it get a little bit thicker. Oh, and I also added in the beans like probably like 10 minutes ago. Chili's done. This is what it looks like, all done. And then I like to add these chips onto it to dip it. And I'm also just toasting some of the bread. I'm just gonna put butter on it. I just started watching, well I didn't just start watching, but I've been watching Yellowstone. Tonight I'm on season one, episode nine. And I just finally got why everyone likes it so much. Took me a little while to get into it, but safe to say, I'm into it. Um, it goes all the way at the top of like a normal. Oh, I see it. Oh. 